Now we want to look at an example or two of a bounded monotonic sequence that converges. So the first example we have is a sub n equals to n over n plus 2. Well, this one can be obviously by using observation because we know the destination uh, value is 1 as n goes to infinity. However, let's see how it works, all right? So is it monotonic? How do we know? All right? Check the word. Check the derivative. All right? We can, check, we can check the derivative. So let x e f of x equals to x of, over x plus 2. Remember, we're talking about sequence. We're only interested when x is greater than 1. So the derivative of this function is, well, uh, square the bottom, and it was x plus 2, the derivative of x is 1, minus x times the derivative of x uh, plus 2 is 1, so you get 2 over x plus 2, mm, x plus 2, not x squared. Greater than 0 for any x's, but particularly for x greater than or equal to 1. So f is, <coughs> is in the 1 is an increasing functions. It's monotonic. Also, 2 over m, sorry, <clears throat> n over m plus 2 less than 1. Obviously, it's a proper fraction. So this series uh, is convergent because a sub n is bounded above and monotonic increasing. Okay, so that's one way to look at it. However, this function probably is a little redundant using, using the big theorem, like every bounded monotonic sequence converges, because we know the destination value is 1. However, the next example is not so obvious. Look at the uh, sequence a sub n equal to the nth root of n. All right, so the question is, it's not that easy to find this limit, okay? It's not that easy to find the destination value. So however, we can think about let f of x equals to what? Equals to... <coughs> equals to x through of x. Let's look at that, that derivative of that. So derivative of this function. All right, so we take a derivative of this function. It's not that easy because as we have this x. Uh, <coughs> the variable appear at an exponent. So what we want to think about is, uh, think about this, right? Derivative of x to the 1 over x to the power. So let's think about this as this, All right? That, and we can take the <coughs> one over x down. Now that's the derivative of exponential function. So that remains the same. That doesn't change. Times derivative of this, the the numer uh, of the uh, exponent. That's equals to. Remember, this guy is still equal to x times one over x. That doesn't change. Uh, but the second part does change. So the derivative of one over x is uh, times natural log is negative one over x squared times natural log of x plus one over x times the derivative of natural log of x, which is what, which is uh, one over x. So what we have is. All right, so the x squared, x squared is good. It's neg negative natural log of x plus 1. Okay, or oh, you can look at this as x to the 1 over x, 1 minus natural log of x, x squared. All right, we know this eventually going to be negative for x is greater than e, right? This is x equal to e, that's equal to 1. So when x is greater than e, this becomes negative. So you can think about this. 
the function, right? The function y equal to natural of x e equals to one, right here. Okay. All right. Look at that. So, with x is greater than e, e is equal to two point seven something. So, f f so this function is less than zero when x is greater than three. Therefore f of x equal to x to the 1 of x is decreasing when x greater than e. Yet, however, is the however. This function is greater than 0. So we can say it's bounded below. So we can conclude that a sub n equal to n n through of n is convergent because a sub n equal to n through of n is monotonic decreasing and bounded below you can say by zero okay by using our theorem so this is two examples we have of monotonic bounded sequence converges